Mathematics Textbook for Class 2 Titled Math Magic Chapter 7 Jugs and Mugs Page 47 Make and Enjoy Lemon Drink This page tells about material needed and instructions with pictures to make lemon drink. Let's start reading this page. You will need half a lemon, a pinch of salt, one spoon of sugar, a glass of water, the picture shows half lemon, pinch made by joining thumb and first finger holding salt, a spoon filled with sugar and a glass of water. How to make it? The instructions are provided in pictorial form and arrow showing the flow of instructions from picture 1 to 4. Instruction 1. Take a glass of water. Place it on the table. Picture shows glass of water kept on the table. Instruction 2. Squeeze lemon into water. Picture shows a boy squeezing lemon in water. Instruction 3. Pour one spoon sugar and add pinch of salt in the glass. Picture shows sugar and salt being added to the glass. Instruction 4. Stir the water in the glass. Picture shows a hand stirring the water in the glass with a spoon. Guess and then find out. Question 1 How many drops of lemon juice do you get from half a lemon? Question 2 how many drops of lemon juice do you get from a full lemon? Question 3. How many drops of lemon juice fill one spoon? Enjoy your lemon drink! Footnote. To make a drink, locally available material can be used or the name of the drink can also be substituted. The focus should be on volume. Page 48 This page has two parts. Part 1 has two questions related to lemon drink. Part 2 describes the lemon drink stall at a village fair. Let's begin reading part 1 questions. For making 6 glasses of lemon drink. Question 1. How many lemons will you need? Question 2. How many spoons of sugar will you take? Part 2 Lemon drink stall at a village fair There is a fair in Chaitra's village.
Chaitra, Nazim, and Anish want to put up a stall to sell lemon drink. They make a bucket full of lemon drink. They use two different sizes of glasses. The picture shows a fair with many shops like lemon drink shop, Pottery, grocery, balloons and swings like merry-go-round. There are lots of people in the fair. Chaitra, Nazim and Anish are standing behind the counter of the lemon drink shop. Two glasses of different sizes and a bucket of lemon juice is kept on the counter. Chaitra is saying, We will sell one small glass for rupees five. Nazim responds, Let's sell one big glass for rupees ten. Anish agrees with both and said OK. There is a poster in front of the lemon drink shop on which Lemon Drink Thanda Thanda Cool Cool is written. Anish got a jug. Do you think it is easier to pour into a glass from a jug than a bucket? They are selling one small glass for rupees 5 and one big glass for rupees 10. Page 49 The lemon drink shop story continues in the first part of this page. Second part has questions related with fun-filling vessels. Let's read the remaining of the lemon drink shop story in part 1. Nazim found that two big glasses fill the jug. Shabnam wants to buy one jug full of lemon drink. How much does she need to pay? Chaitra found that two small glasses fill one big glass. How many small glasses of lemon drink will fill the jug? How many small glasses will fill half the jug? Part 2 Fun in Filling Vessels Find out how many cups of water will fill your bottle.
first guess and then try it out. Now, fill a different bottle with the same cup. Which bottle holds less water? Try it with another bottle. Which bottle holds the least water? Page 50 This page describes an activity done by Sunaina and Jaspreet. Let's find out what they are doing. Sunaina and Jaspreet brought different vessels from the kitchen. They had a jug, a glass, a mug, a pot and a bowl. They filled each of these with a cup. Picture shows a jug, a mug, a glass, a bowl, and a pot. Question 1. Guess which vessel holds the least water? Question 2. Which vessel holds the most water? Now, you collect different vessels from your kitchen. Use the same cup to fill each of them. Count the number of cups of water each of them can hold. First guess and then do it. A table with two columns and five rows is given to record your observations. The first row, column 1 heading is the vessel you used and 
Column 2 heading is Cups of Water to Fill It. The rest of the rows are empty. In the first row and first column, a picture of bowl is shown. Page 51 Ring the one which holds more water. A. The picture shows a bucket and a mug. B. The picture shows a cup and a plate. C. The picture shows a matka and a sarahi. D. The picture shows a matki smaller than the lota. Page 52 Rani and the Milkman Anil is a milkman. He gives the same amount of milk at Rani's house every day. He uses a mug three times to fill Rani's milk pot. One day, Rani's mother gave her a different pot to take milk. Every day, Rani's pot would fill to the top. But today, Rani found that the pot was not filled completely. The picture shows Rani standing at the door of her house with a pot in her hands. The milkman and his bicycle are also visible in the picture. Rani is thinking, Oh! Today, Anil has given me less milk. Do you think Anil has given Rani less milk? Help her. Find out. How much milk does your mother buy every day? Try yourself. Take five different types of big vessels from your kitchen. Fill all of them one by one with one jug full of water. What do you see? Why? Talk to your friends about it. Page 53 Thirsty Crow Chirpy Crow was very thirsty.
It looked everywhere but could not find water. Suddenly it saw a pitcher, that is, matka. When it tried to drink water, it found there was very little water in the pitcher. It saw pebbles lying nearby. The picture shows a matka with little water. Chirpy sitting on the mouth of matka and some pebbles lying nearby. Chirpy is saying, I have an idea. It put the pebbles into the pitcher one by one. The picture shows Chirpy dropping pebbles in the matka. The water came up. Chirpy drank water and flew away. Page 54 Do you want to be like Chirpy? Do you want to know how the water in the pitcher came up? Take two glasses of the same size. Fill half of each glass with water. You have to put tamarind, that is, imli seeds in the first glass to raise the water to the top. Guess how many seeds you will need to put in. Now, do it. Count the number of seeds used. Now, put the same number of marbles in the second glass. What happens? Repeat it with stones. What happens now? Why? Talk about it in the class. Page 55 Water is useful. Find out How much water in mugs or buckets is used in your house for each of the following. Number 1. To take a bath. Picture shows a boy taking bath. Number 2. To wash clothes. Picture shows a man washing clothes. Number 3. 
Number 3. To wash utensils. Picture shows a lady washing utensils. Number 4. To drink. Picture shows a girl drinking water. Guess and then find out. A. How many mugs of water fill one bucket? B. How many buckets of water do you use to take a bath? C. How many mugs of water do you use to take a bath? D. How much water will fill a balloon? E. How much water is needed to fill a water gun, that is, pichkari? F. A camel can drink nine buckets of water at once. How many buckets can two camels drink at once? Footnote Children should be encouraged to do the activity at home and note the observations. A discussion can be held in the class to compare the volumes of various vessels used by children.